Thursday won't be the busiest of days as far as the economic calendar goes, though there's plenty of room for volatility when considering a tense euro dollar market that looks like it could be about to break one way or another, and ongoing sensitivity to all things related to U.S. protectionism and global trade. U.K. retail sales will highlight the docket with U.S. initial jobless claims and the Philly Fed taking supporting roles. We come into Thursday with the pound reconsidering its recent run of strength to a fresh 2018 high after a batch of data thus far on the week has weighed with wage growth and inflation both sliding. The Canadian dollar has also done a 180 with longs heading for the exit after the Bank of Canada was decidedly less hawkish in its Wednesday policy decision. Earlier today, we got a deceptive Kiwi inflation reading that was on net bearish given the dip in tradable goods prices and dropped the lowest year-on-year print since Q3 2016, putting the RBNZ in a position to consider a less hawkish path going forward. We also got a discouraging batch of employment data out of Australia, though the Australian dollar has done a fabulous job holding up on cross-related Aussie demand against its Kiwi cousin. That's all for now.